I still struggle with this today. I wasn't curious at all at this point. I was just terrified out of my mind. It felt like an eternity. I mean, it was one of the most scary two minutes of my life. That story my dad told me, I just don't feel like I can, I just don't feel like I can share it on YouTube. Like I just, I don't, I don't really know. It's just, it's a very weird story that I just don't feel comfortable sharing. So we're just gonna do a different story because that one was like, very very strange and i just don't feel comfortable you know I, i'm always trying to you know set the scene for how this was you got to remember these are you know 14 15 16 17 year old days right where um you know we were kids times were really kind of different back then as well you know so um we used to have this place we used to call it the crates and uh what it was is it was actually a bunch of pallets that were stacked in, in these single columns like you know 30 feet high and then there was rows and rows and rows of them and, and me and a handful of friends there was probably eight or ten of us or so used to go on this because it was almost like a playground right you could climb up this 30 foot you know almost like ladders of, of pallets and then we would literally take pallets out of the center and make like little forts out of them and hang out it was pretty pretty cool you know it was just a way you could get away after school it wasn't far from the school right down the railroad tracks and um you know you'd go in there and, and, and we'd make these kind of elaborate kind of tunnels and forts and which was probably pretty silly you know I mean probably pretty dangerous but we used to just go there and <laughs> hang out and usually it was like a group of like four or five like I said sometimes even six of us just messing around I remember one night for whatever reason George was like hey let's go to the crates and it was kind of a little unusual that you know normally it was a group of us and it was just me and George and it was it was like it was like a Saturday night I remember it being a weekend maybe a Friday night I have no idea I just remember that I was going to be spending the night over at George's house and didn't have to be home and it was definitely late you know and I told you before a lot of times his parents his dad didn't live there and his mom oftentimes didn't come home so he didn't really have any schedule that he had to keep to his older brother was kind of his you know whatever his his you know person that looked after him and didn't seem to really care when he came home so anyways we so we walked from his house it, it was it was probably a half mile or something like that to the crates and and I remember like crawling up you know the thing and going into one of our favorite kind of forts which is probably you know like almost the size of this room but again it was cool you climb up you go on top of the crates and then you would climb down like 15 feet so you'd be like in this kind of almost like insane type of thing and we we're just you know chatting about things like uh, any friends would at that point and uh and then i remember him saying like I, I can't remember exactly what he said but it started to get like a little dark you know what i mean like he was like kind of like yeah it's just crazy that you know when people like just disappear you know and and, and i remember like thinking like where's he going with this like you know that's kind of weird and 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 you know although he was like my best friend and and we got along there were it, i i've shared some things he did things that were kind of scary right you know so so it's almost like you know, he had this this thing about him that br brought you in, but then at the same time, you almost feared him a little bit because he seemed so unusual, you know? And so I remember at that moment, starting to feel a little bit afraid, you know, like, where's he going with this? And and, and then again, I, I keep going back to this where like his eyes would kind of change this really dark, almost like, it almost would look like a different person. And I, I remember it was just lit up by the moon, you know, so it was kind of dark and kind of weird. But I remember all of a sudden I couldn't see his pupils at all anymore. Like, I mean, it was just like black. And um, and I remember him looking over and going, you know, what's, what's really weird is that like, I could kill you right now and probably no one would even find you for months. No one even know where you were. And he just like stared at me. And I remember, like I giggled. Like I giggled like, ha <laughs> ha And he just like stayed stone faced. And um, and then, Jeez. and then you know, he just stared at me. But it was funny because, I, again, I don't know if this was kind of a joke or what the deal was. He stared, stayed like stone faced. And after like a minute of me just kind of like going, what the hell's happening here? Uh, he just started laughing, goes, oh yeah, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But then had that look on his face like, I don't know if he was. So literally, like, within a few minutes or so, I was like, all right, let's get going, you know? <laughs> I yeah. just remember, like, thinking, like, this dude's gonna, like, kill me. Dude, yeah, what the heck? I don't even know what I would do if somebody... I would... I feel like I would go into fight mode and, like, fight back or something. I wouldn't care if that was my best friend. I don't yeah, know. I didn't, you know, I didn't, again, I, you, you never knew where the line was with him, you know? You like, you didn't know when he was joking, when it was real. He could have killed me. You know, I mean, or he, right? Like, it could have just been his his way of freaking me out, knowing that it freaked me out because he enjoyed yeah. that. Did you so like? Much. So you didn't like ask? Him? 
No, I mean, you didn't like ask him like, like a question to see if he was kidding. No, I mean, when he started laughing, I was just like, I just remember being like really, really terrified and really thinking, oh my God, this this could be bad, you know. And, and, uh, and I remember, you know, like trying to to think of ways to to like leave as quickly as we could, you know what I mean? And I even remember, I'll be honest with you, I'll even remember like climbing up, because I went up first, and I remember climbing up the crates and, he's and thinking he you. was gonna grab me and like drag me down, and and uh, yeah. I, I was never more happy than we, you know, and, and honestly, even when we got on the ground, again, it was like an offshoot of a railroad, right? There's a railroad track that went through and then this yard full of, like I said, thousands of crates. And and because uh, it was a shipping yard, you know, and, and even walking out along the path of the crates, you know, I remember being like really freaked out. And it wasn't until we got to like the main road after we walked down the railroad tracks that I finally, mm. you know, it was a sigh of relief. But, uh, but again, just, you know, building layers of what a wild weird dude the dude was <laughs> yeah. god man i can't even <laughs> having friends that <laughs> that uh that tell you they could kill you <laughs> what a great what a it great wasn't relationship. just telling you either it was the look on his face it was the change of the eyes no, yeah. it, was, it was again very surreal and very you know wild you know but well you guys have been asking for some more stories with my dad, so we got down and made another story. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. I don't really know uh, where we're going to take this series. I mean, I it's it's really confusing for me, like, with this series. Like, I don't know what we should do. Like, Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I think that... If you guys have questions about it, I can answer, but I think uh, I think we'll definitely wrap up pretty soon. You know, like we can maybe talk about a couple more things, and maybe we can even go into to George's death day if you guys want us to. I, I still think it's an idea to go visit the house at some point, even though I'm scared of it. But um, I'm willing to check it out. My curiosity is there, but I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> That's it's scary, man. All these stories. Why would I want to go there? It doesn't seem right. I don't know. Oh man. So that's the end of this episode. I don't want to go to that house. Please guys, side with me. Don't let me go. I'll see you in the next, I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode. See ya.